Alright guys, we're here for another part of this tutorial, and this tutorial we're just going to uh, sort of refine things and just uh, make things look a little better. So, let's go to get our grab tool here and we'll just bring things out that need to be brought out, as like we're doing here. Oops, I want to grab that stuff in the background. Okay, just want to make things just a little better. A little more um, up to par. So, uh, we need to, um, for the retopology, we need to go ahead and bring out a neck. Just so that it's just not a head floating in space. So, it's going to get draw, turn strength and size up. Uh, sorry about this glitching. But uh, we'll just uh, actually, let's go ahead and bring um, the size down and the strength up. We're going to turn on airbrush. And uh, right about there seems a good place. Yeah. We're just going to hold it until we get a nice little lump here. And let's go ahead and bring down the levels. And then we'll just start uh, dragging down. Yeah, we don't want to drag that excess stuff. So, uh, yeah. So let's go in the front view here and let's just bring it out. And this isn't going to look very great. But, um, like I said, it's just for the read topology. It's just for the read topology step. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get our smooth brush and just smooth all this out. You can see we need to make this a lot wider. So let's go ahead and grab, move it out. Actually, let's do it from this, this viewpoint here. and go up a level actually so it's just a little bit more comfortable because I tend to find working with really low polygon levels quite uh, frustrating because it seems kind of like you're you're going nowhere okay let's bring this up here so we want to start sort of like get a kind of a shoulder look to it And we might even want to just go into edit mode and uh, separate this. We might just want to do that. Smooth some of this. Alright, let's go back into grab. Now let's start forming some stuff here. Uh, Okay, so we want to go ahead and get that neck shape here. So we will uh, bring out the chest in a minute, but first I want to form the neck. And you see this? We get this because we have very poor topology. And, uh, you know, that's just the way it is for now. But like I said in the other parts, that's what the retopology step is for, is to fix all of that. Blend this in a little bit here. It's smooth. All right. Okay, we'll just keep going along this path here. Give him some shoulders and stuff. And I'm going to show you guys some muscle groups. Uh, I'm not uh, really uh, great at anatomy, but uh, I do know where the placement of uh, quite a few muscles are. Because uh, I read a few anatomy books, and I, uh, I'm not very familiar with the names of all the muscles, but I do know where they are. Let's go up another level. We're gonna have to go up to level six very soon. Let's go back let's go down to level one. We don't I don't want this low of a level either. So let's go ahead and delete lower. That's much better. So okay we don't want all 
this stuff going on here. Okay, so now that we have a nice basis to start with, let's go ahead and talk about where the placement of some things are. So the first thing I would like to actually let's just grab this, uh, just bring this down just a little bit more, just so we have a little more space to work with because uh, we need to bring in a bone that makes it look a lot better and realistic. Okay, so. Next little thing there. Okay, so things that we need to bring in. First of all, the Adam's apple. We've got the pectoral muscles here. We need to bring in these back shoulder muscles. We need to bring in the clavicle. We need to bring in uh, the tendon that goes from the back here down here to the start of the clavicle. To bring in some back muscles here. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and just smooth out these wrinkles really, 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 really quick. So let's go ahead and start. So let's go ahead and go with our draw here. Just have to bring this down. So first, first things first. Oh, I always like to bring out this muscle first, but uh, actually before we bring out that, we need to go and make the cl cl clavicle. Sorry about that. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, go into wire really quick. Yeah, we have very, very poor topology, so it's going to be kind of hard to make this look very nice. But we will do our best, won't we? So bring it up in our clavicle here. Uh, you know what? Instead of worrying about making it look super, super great, which we cannot do, we'll just try to make it look as good as we can. Yeah, so let's go into draw. Let's bring in our Adam's apple here. Good and uh, uh, reduce around there to make it look better, and we'll just smooth. Oh, let's actually let's get rid of this here. That's better. Let's go ahead and uh, bring in the sternum here, like so. Let's bring this out. Press S for smooth. Let's go ahead and bring in the pectoral muscles here. And a good way to do that is to just, like we did earlier, what we did was, uh, let me turn off airbrush. Turn the strength all the way up. But, uh, you know, just define them by uh, kind of putting in creases and things like that. And actually, this is a good start for our clavicle here. If we move it down. Okay. Smooth. Let's go ahead and pinch, pinch this here together. I'm gonna have to do that a little bit to get some hard bone like stuff going on. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do another thing here. So F here and we're gonna bring out a muscle right down here. This muscle here. And then we'll go ahead and smooth it. Bring our size down here. Let's go ahead and down a level here. It looks kind of awkward right now, so uh, with this last little bit of time that we have, let's just bring it back a little bit here. going to be a little difficult. Alright, so uh, we didn't really get that much done this part, but we will see a lot more progression in the next part. So, thanks for watching this part, and be sure to watch the next one. Alright guys, thanks.